Today we'll be doing a quick unboxing of the third member of the GTX 400 series family. So up here on top for comparison, we'll get more on this later, is a GTX 480. But the one we're actually looking at today is the GTX 465. This is a PNY Accelerate XLR8 Performance Edition card. It is Okay, they have a couple of extra things that are included with their cards that aren't included with others. You get two bonus movie downloads, and they have a few examples of what you can download. Uh, Muppets in Space, uh, The Da Vinci Code, SWAT, uh, some movie, I think it's about counting cards, and Rudy. So you can get two bonus movie downloads, and then you get a three-month subscription to uh, ESEA. All right, let's go around to the back, and we'll find the basic specs while I start to open the packaging. So it is SLI ready. It has physics support. It has 3D vision support, just like the GTX 470 and the 480. The biggest difference with the 465 is actually probably on the front. Uh, yes, here. Only one gig of DDR5 RAM. So that means that compared to its bigger brothers, you're going to have a little bit less RAM and you're also going to have a little bit less performance because it does have fewer processing cores. So we'll have a quick look at what's included here. We've got the quick start guide. Okay, It's uh, pretty much a standard quick start guide. shows you how to install a video card. Then we have the installation disk. Make sure you download the latest drivers off the NVIDIA website. Their latest uh, beta is actually really good. Then you've got a dual Molex to one PCIe 6X connector. You have a mini HDMI to HDMI adapter. And then you have a DVI to VGA adapter. You, so you can plug in pretty much every conceivable connector here. So the way it's packed is just in little foams here. And it's sort of sturdy enough, although it's not. Uh, this was a, a quick to market card, so you don't expect full custom packaging for it. And let's have a look. So far, it looks just like a GTX uh, 470. One big difference that it uh, that it doesn't have, a special. Okay, here, why don't we compare it to the 480 instead? Okay, so the big first thing we notice compared to the 480 is that it doesn't have the the heat sink surface on the actual front of the card. So it doesn't have these heat pipes that as you can see come out of the top of the card leading to more ventilation space as well as this heatsink surface here. It does still use a fan blower design so you can see the whole second slot is designed for airflow to be vented by this fan out the front of the case and this fan is completely shrouded in so that it's not going to exhaust any air back this way. This takes all the warm air from inside your case, cools your card and then blows it out the back of the case. Up on the top we find two 6-pin PCI Express power connectors as well as a 1-inch shorter length compared to the 6-pin and 8-pin on the 480 as well as a 1-inch longer length. The sticker is also rather shoddily applied on this one but I'm sure that's just this sample and not representative of all of them. The back of them both look the same. Okay, and then let's have a look. So this is a standard PCIe 16X card. You're going to find your, your standard 16X PCI Express connector along the bottom. That's uh, fairly normal. And one thing that you will notice about the 465, um, especially on these first cards, is that it actually has all of the memory chip spots. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh no, maybe, hold on, maybe it doesn't. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, you know what? I can't tell how many that is. It might have eight. It might have ten. Um, it's probably using a GTX 470 PCB, but actually with two fewer RAM chips soldered on because it was uh, it was up to the add-in partners to design the boards for the 465. Uh, it uses a very similar design where the fan has access both at the back and the front of the PCB to fresh air. You've got two SLI connectors up on the top, so if you're going to be running SLI, either two-way or three-way SLI, or if you're going to be running 3D Vision Surround, which you need to run SLI in order to use, you're going to need those. Moving around to the back of the card, we've got two DVI ports and one mini HDMI, although you can't run three monitors off the card at the same time. So that was pretty much all I wanted to say about the PTA... PTX, PNY GTX 465 1 gig graphics card.